corporate customers slow to spend on technology that's not clearly called AI. Welcome to the drill down earnings. We've got the latest quarterly report from Zoom Video Communications. Yeah, you know the company, lest you confuse it with other Zooms. This is the business story behind one stock on the move. I'm Corey Johnson, Chief Market Strategist from the Futurum Group. Zoom Video Communications reporting a quarter that was a beat. Wall Street likes a beat better than it likes a miss. Wall Street doesn't usually think more than that, but we can. We can look at the business story here. And uh, what the business actually did is $1.2 billion in revenues. That's up 2.6% from the previous fourth quarter a year ago. That's pretty decent growth for this company and profits. Uh, net income of $299 million after a loss last year. Look, everyone likes money. No one likes losing money. They made money instead of losing money. That's a big improvement here for this company on a net income basis and certainly a surprise from what Wall Street expected. But we look a little bit deeper. We look at the enterprise business, the business to business business of Zoom, and it's doing really well. That was a 5%, 4.9% year over year, just $667.3 million. Um, so if you look at a couple aspects of their business, they pointed this out in their conference call, Zoom contact centers, uh, their licenses grew 3%. They had 95 Zoom phone customers that had more than 10,000 seats per uh, customer. And they had 510,000 accounts, a whole lot, using Zoom AI, actually using AI in their business. This isn't Zoom just planning to put AI to work. So enterprise revenues up 5%, really important for this business. Those are the customers that pay and pay a lot. And when they get their foot in the door, they seem to be growing those accounts. So this is all positive news. Uh, the the, the post-pandemic hangover seems to be over for Zoom. And you can see it in the stock chart. Stock is uh, Zooming, if you will. I should take that back. I'm not going to take it back. But yeah, the stock rose after hours. Still down for the year. But after hours, it's a good move. The CEO uh, uh, talked on the call, but I thought the really interesting comments were from the chief financial officer, Kelly Streckenberg, Streckelberg, I should say. Kelly Streckelberg talked about, yeah, their customers are paying, but they're stretching out payment right now. Listen to what she had to say. What we have seen is the continued trend of um, our customers wanting shorter payment terms. They're hanging on to their cash. Remember we talked about this in Q3, that that's really what contributes to the, the decrease in deferred. And then the other thing is the timing of renewals. We are seeing customers not necessarily wait to their renewal period to start these discussions. Um, for example, I, renewed, I reviewed a, a proposal today for a customer that's not gonna renew for six months. So customers are really thinking ahead about their contracts and being very thoughtful about this. So we are hearing more and more of that. We hear it from Zoom here. We heard it from Workday. We heard it from Palo Alto Networks. Now Zoom, corporate customers slow to spend on technology that's not clearly called AI and purely AI. We're gonna keep an ear out for that going forward uh, when it comes to tech company reporting earnings. All right, what does it all mean? What's your big drill down earnings takeaway? And what's one number that tells us a whole lot about Zoom video communications? We'll have all that right after this. The Drill Down is brought to you by Futurum Group, where analysts, researchers, advisors, content creators, and marketing experts help business leaders anticipate and understand shifts in their industries and build strategies to leverage disruptive innovation. With deep analysis, Futurum Group's extensive industry experience delivers reliable research and data, thought leadership, and actionable advice to help you with your strategy and go-to-market efforts. Futurum Group. Here's your quick drill down earnings takeaway and the latest results from Zoom communications, Zoom video communications. You know it as Zoom, of course you do. Uh, they knew that they had $1.15 billion in revenues up from last year, up is good, down is bad. Profits, they had them, they didn't have them last year. That's really good, uh, $298 million in profits for the company. But the enterprise business was strong, 5% growth for their enterprise business. And that brings us to one number that tells us a whole lot. Not only were the revenues up for enterprises, but the number of enterprise customers was strong, up 3% to 220,000 enterprise customers. 3%, there's your bite, the one number that tells us a whole lot. That's the story with Zoom, up for uh, a positive number here in terms of growth of customers and revenues and profits. Thanks for listening to Drill Down Earnings. I'm Corey Johnson. Check us out on the socials. And of course, you can check me out on uh, X at Corey TV. 
Joel Earnings, part of the 6-5 Media Group.